Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 to 3. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ to give you thanks for another day that you have preserved for us. And if we just stop to think, not many people, well, um, many people, should I say, did not have the privilege to wake up this morning and to see another day. And we do not know how many of, out of that, um, that group that didn't get to see today were actually in you. And when I say in you, Meaning that they died knowing you and had turned away from the life of sin to serve you. We don't know how many how many people were saved who didn't see today. But we had the opportunity, we had the privilege of waking up this morning. And in that we are grateful because as we as long as we have this life, as we say, we have hope that we have that time yet still to change our way, repent from our sins, seek your face and to follow you and to love you with all that we are according to that good, acceptable, perfect and holy will. So dear Lord, I pray, we, I pray that we waste no more time in serving you. We have a record of our lives those things that we used to do to serve ourselves, to serve the flesh, to serve the devil in, in, in lawlessness, we saw that the outcome of that was nothing but, but destruction, grief, heartache, and just not good. <laughs> so I, I, I pray this morning, dear Lord, that we come to terms that doing things of our own self and our own will will not lead to anything but destruction and that we totally devote ourselves over to you mind body spirit soul everything that we are and i pray even this morning dear lord that you help us to forgive one another so that we can be forgiven of you i pray that we love have a love for the truth and that we are not being taken away with the snares of the evil one which is deceits and lies and the traps that he sets with these things but that we are able to discern all things through the truth and the knowledge of you lord jesus christ and whilst we traverse this life and go through the various tests and trials let us pray as always that we are focused on you keeping our eyes fixated on you so that nothing that happens around us will deter us from the faith and the hope and the love that we ought to have for you, Lord Jesus Christ. And as always, as we ask each and every day that we are able to impart this wisdom, this knowledge into our children so that they may grow up knowing the true principles, the holy principles of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. And when they are of age, they shall never neglect nor reject you. But be light, but be a light to the world as we all are called to be. So lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning to the glory of God our Heavenly Father in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 1-3 says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understood all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Amen. So, I wanted to just speak a little this morning on 
charity, which is love. So love and obedience, right? When I was reading it this morning, there's about last week I was speaking to somebody and was speaking about how to, how have having love for God is completely intertwined in being obedient to him. And a couple of verses that supports this is in John chapter 14, verse 15 and verse 21, which says, verse 15 says, If ye love me, keep my commandments. Right? And in verse 21, it said, He that he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. So we see clearly there, this is our Lord speaking, right? He made it known that it's impossible to love him if you don't obey him. Like it makes sense, isn't it? How are you going to love somebody? And you're going contrary to the beliefs and the, 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 um, the instructions that they take as truth, right? And we know that God is truth, right? So another verse that came to mind this morning was just to show that we can't be hypocrites in this thing. Because we can profess that we love God with our mouth and yet our deeds and our hearts are contrary to him, right? And there is no mocking God. We can't trick him. Right, he knows the innermost thoughts. He knows the imaginations of the thoughts of the hearts of men. Right, and because our hearts are is is desperately wicked, and we tend to want to always do that which is wicked. This is why we need to obey God, so that we can actually we can actually turn away from those things which are evil. Because this is pretty much his instruction. Everything that Jesus came and taught us showed us how to turn away to repent of sin, and to, to walk a life that is holy and acceptable to our Heavenly Father through him, right? So that's why he gets all the praise. And for those, the scripture again that came to mind is again showing that hypocrites won't be pardoned, right? As I said, if you say, profess with your mouth that you love him, but yet your heart is far away from him, he's not going to take any pleasure with you. And we don't want to be found in that camp. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23 says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many shall will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Again, it shows it clear as day that you can be doing things, right, that show like you're serving God. But the love, is, which is the nucleus, is not there. And if you're doing things outside of love, which is outside of God, because God is love, then are you a hypocrite and we let's we will speak for all of us we don't want to be hypocrites we prefer to not do anything at all than to be doing things hypocritically it's better you don't do anything and seek the lord right <laughs> work out your salvation with fear and trembling and then he will teach you how to do things to please him than to be doing things contrary because see to these people in um in Matthew here, chapter 7, they were saying they prophesied in their name and do all of these wonders in his name. But guess what? They still weren't serving God. Because as in John, it says here, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Right? He that loveth me, keep the commandments that he has set before us. And as it says here in, in Corinthians, it shows you that in the end it says, Said, now abideth faith, hope, and charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity, which is love. <laughs> right? And you can read verses four down just to go, get to, into context what it entails to show the love of God. This is the characteristics of Him. Right? And yeah, I'll leave it at that. But just to sum up, just remember that in loving God, 
there has to be obedience to what he has told us to do and this is what we want to walk in all the days of our lives to do his good acceptable perfect and holy will to show his love to all mankind all right so i'll leave it at that this morning everyone any questions anything that you want to share you can drop in the comment section or you can send it into the word at intreach1.org and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow